So Brandon Ayuk and them dropped a video on TikTok. Brandon Ayuk on TikTok, if y'all want to go and find the original video. Brandon Ayuk says this. He's FaceTiming Jaden Daniels, by the way. I mean, I don't think this means anything for the Washington football wizards, but for context, he is FaceTiming Jaden Daniels. I didn't know what Jaden Daniels looked like until I said, but just, you know. Bro, look in the cam, bro. Look <laughs> the cam. <laughs> he got me vlogging this shit. Vlogging this shit. They said they, ain't, they said they don't want me back. <laughs> oh my lord. And I don't know what Jaden Daniels calling his mama for. But Brandon I you said they don't want me back. They told me they don't want me back. They said they don't want me back. So before we can get to that, you know, I, I wonder if I go and tweet this right now. Uh, the 49ers don't want Brandon Ayuk back. I wonder, can I be like per Vash Lombardi? Because nobody said it yet. I just saw Brandon Ayuk say it. I just saw Brandon Ayuk say it. But I wonder. The 49ers are moving on from Brandon Ayuk. Allegedly, right? Brandon Ayuk could be April Fools in the shit out of us. We don't know. But allegedly, the 49ers are moving are moving along from Brandon Ayu. And let me just hop on Twitter real fast just to see what the business is. Yep, it's it's trending. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's all over. It's all over Twitter. All right, cool. So what does this mean? By what well, Cowboys ain't got to deal with it. Hey man, I don't want nobody to get fired, bro. I don't want nobody to not have a job. Why would I wish that on somebody? But Brandon Ayuk's one of the best wide receivers in the league. He's going to have a job somewhere, wherever the hell he go. And I just want to just make this clear. I'm not saying he's coming to Dallas, all right? That's not what the point of this video is, okay? I'm not saying that Brandon Ayuk's going to be coming to the, to the Cowboys or anything like that. It'd be nice. It's fact. Yes. Yes. Similar event did take place. All that Jalen told me she goes out the window. It'll be nice. Um, but I'm curious. Like, there's a couple of things that comes along with this, right? For example, they told Brandon Ayuk that they don't want him. Brandon Ayuk ain't cut or nothing like that. But they don't want him. And they drafted Ricky Pearsall, in which I love Ricky Pearsall to pieces. Now, it's interesting because in my mind, if you're going to let go of somebody, you're going to let go of the guy that's more hurt, the guy that's a little older, and the guy that's on the decline. In my mind, that'll be Debo Samuel. Mind you, I ain't here to just talk San Francisco 49ers. That's their bitch. Y'all can go and watch the 49ers content creator, something like that. But I'm talking about more in, in context of like Cowboys and big picture and things like that. So let me get there. But in my mind, you would let go of the worst receiver, right? And it was shown last season that Brandon Ayuk had proven to be ascending or going up. He seemed to be the more true receiver. He seems to be the guy that Brock Purdy would find when he was in trouble. He seemed to be the guy that'll bail the offense out when they needed somebody. It wasn't always Kittle. Kittle got going when Ayuk started going crazy. Right, and I ain't saying that George Kittle trash or nothing like that. George Kittle still one of the best tight ends in the league. But to keep it a buck here, Kill, uh, Ayuk was the nucleus of this thing. I mean, run game, of course. Christian McCaffrey, of course. I'm talking about passing game. Ayuk was the main receiver there. Debo Samuel has some games to where he'll kind of fall off. He'll kind of do a little something there, and they'll put him at running back just to get him going. They ran the football a lot with with Debo Samuel just because they just couldn't get him going as a receiver. In my mind, Brandon Ayuk is a guy that would demand a gang of market attention. So this ain't me, you know, feeling bad for him because he's about to have a job. Brandon Ayuk is going to be just fine. But the bottom line here is if we look at the 49ers offense and they re-sign Christian McCaffrey too, the running back, with an injury history, this strange, but whatever, they've been in whatever. Um, 
if if we just look at the 49ers offense, right, we just start thinking about the people that we don't want to have to deal with. When I was watching film on the 49ers last year, yes, stopping a run was the most important thing. But if there was a receiver that you had to deal with playing against San Francisco, I would say that Brandon Ayuk was the more dangerous guy. And if the Cowboys ain't got to deal with him, I'm celebrating that this year. What I said. What I said. Now, um, if if you do want to play into the hey Vach, you think the Cowboys can go and get Brandon Ayuk? Hey man, look, you know if he's still on the team and they didn't cut him, but they've told him that they don't want him here anymore, then maybe that means they're shopping him right now. That there's a possible draft pick to be involved here. Now, a young player that you openly didn't admit it that you don't want. Pardon me. You didn't openly admit it. You quietly said it, and he said it loudly. If we all know that you don't want Brandon Ayuk, then that kind of tanks his trade value, correct? It just tanks his trade value. Take a look at Amari Cooper, right? Amari Cooper is a fantastic receiver still to this day. Deontay Wilder voice. But if everybody knows that you don't want him or that you're having problems and issues with him, Hey man, we'll we'll give you a fifth form, but you know if not, you just gonna have to cut him, and we'll just get him from there. The same thing happened with a lot of these Cowboys this year. The Cowboys were waiting for trade candidates. I forgot which player it was. Maybe it was Gallup or some other guys. But they were waiting for trade candidates, but they couldn't find those guys because they knew that the Cowboys were just gonna get rid of them if they couldn't find a find a trade partner for them. It was definitely Gallup. Gallup was that guy. So now everybody knows that the 49ers don't want IU. Hey man, is, is this the is this the Cowboys' opportunity to get that wide receiver? No, it's not, man. Bro, it was the Cowboys. It's false. No way. The Cowboys don't want to get good, bro. We created it. Not this time. The Cowboys no. don't want to get good. Not this time. It's totally made up. Pure fiction. It's fiction. The Cowboys don't want to improve. So yeah, he'll end up in like Cleveland somewhere. He'll end up in New York, something, Jets or Giants. I think both of those teams, will, you know what I'm saying? Just some team with a bunch of cap space. He'll end up in Chicago or something. He ain't going to end up in Dallas. He ain't going up in Dallas. As fun as it'll be to have another receiver to come play the X, to, to continue to move CD Lamb around. You can move by, you can around too. But to continue to move, you know, Lamb around and just for Brandon Cooks to be your, your flanker guy and Ferguson to be your tight end, boy, this will be fantastic. But you got to pay CD, you got to pay Mike, and you got to pay Dak Prescott. I think you actually save money if you if you end up paying Dak. And I think if you just extend CD, you probably have a little more money left over. But this ain't me saying that Brandon Ayuk is going to come be a cowboy. That's not the whole point of this video. But the point of this video is we ain't got to deal with his ass no more. And I think that means something, too. We don't have to deal with Brandon Ayuk, and I think that means something, too. Also, man, cowboy fans got to realize, man, some of the better teams – aren't making a whole bunch of groundbreaking moves like that. San Fran didn't, didn't make a bunch of groundbreaking moves in the all season like that. It just didn't, you know what I mean? They may have signed like a complimentary player here or there, but nothing like ridiculous, I don't believe, you know, but Hey, just by the subtraction of Brandon, Ayuk from the 49ers, that just made my day, man. I just wanted to share in case y'all haven't seen the video on Twitter. Y'all can go on Twitter and type in Brandon. I, you, you, you can't miss it. All right. But uh, that's all I got for y'all today, man. Or maybe I got a video for y'all later. I don't know. We'll see. We might have to say these videos since ain't nothing going on. Everybody on vacation. But we'll talk about it, man. Love y'all to pieces. Salute.